Welcome back to my channel Let's learn flight simulator together where you and I will be learning to fly together In this video we will be looking at the interface of YS flight simulator we will be looking at flight controls we will be looking at some basic settings and we will be taking off for the very first time I'm very excited for this video Let's move ahead On the home screen you have options to create a new flight you can retry a previous flight or you can load an existing flight On tabs you have fly simulation options network flight tracker utility and help We won't be getting into all of these but we will be certainly getting into some of the important options that you would need to learn for basic navigation If you click the fly tab the first option is to open flight and second is to save a flight so you can save flights that you have created and you can reopen them if you want to fly them again The second tab we have is the simulation tab I'm not a fan of the order of the menu options here so I will talk about them in the order I prefer When you click create new flight it gives you an option to select aircraft map starting position and loading within loading you can select the amount of fuel you want to carry and if you're flying a fighter jet you can select the weapons you want to fly with after you are done creating a new flight you can click fly to start flying after you have flown the created flight for the first time you cannot click fly again in this case you can click retry previous flight and you can fly your selected flight for as many times as you want but if you delete or create another flight you may not be able to use retry previous flight again you can select configuration and options to personalize the simulator for you there you can change graphic settings some defaults such as aircraft maps starting position etc Joystick key assignments is to customize your keyboard controls and joystick controls. Flight record utility is one of my favorite feature of YS Flight Simulator. After you have flown a flight, you can come here and replay your flight record. The best part about it is you can change the camera angles as many time as you want within your flight replay. Before we fly, we must know how an airplane flies. I am not a professional aviator by any means so I will try to explain whatever I know about flying in the best way I can. Have you ever filled up a balloon and let it loose? If not, okay, let's have a look at it right now. Aircraft engines also work in a similar way. It generates thrust like a filled up balloon. This backfiring thrust moves the airplane forward. Let's look at this aircraft. You will notice as I increase the power, the thrust from the propeller pushes the aircraft forward. The faster the propeller rotates, the faster your aircraft will move forward. Bigger aircraft have multiple jet engines that help them fly much faster. Now that we have seen how an aircraft moves forward, how do we maneuver it in the air? An aircraft has a bunch of panels in its wings and tails that help the aircraft maneuver in the air. They are elevators, ailerons, rudder, and flaps. Let's have a look at these and understand their working principles. Elevators are panels connected to the rear wing of an aircraft. Their function is exactly what they are named after. When the elevator goes up, as you are seeing in this video, the nose of the aircraft is pushed up and the plane starts climbing. When the elevator is pushed down, the nose of the aircraft goes down and the airplane starts descending that is coming down. Let's have a look at the ailerons now. Ailerons are attached to either sides of the front wing of an aircraft. They are connected to the end of the wing. If you push your control lever to the right direction, your right aileron goes up and your left aileron goes down. The deflection of the winds on the wing of the aircraft makes it tilt to the right direction. In the similar way, if you press your control lever to the left direction, left aileron goes up and right aileron goes down, tilting your aircraft to the left direction. When your aircraft tilts in any direction, it starts turning towards that direction. 
This is how an aircraft can turn left or right in the air. Next time you fly, try to look at the ailerons from the windows when the aircraft is turning. Rudders are hinged to the tail of an aircraft that provides vertical stability to the aircraft. Turning your rudder in any direction will slightly turn the nose of your aircraft in that direction. Rudders are a pilot's friend in crosswing landing. If you are wondering what is a crosswing landing, we will learn that in our future videos. Flaps are hinged to the main wing of an aircraft. It helps an aircraft fly at lower speeds. Flaps are deployed by taking off and landing for the aircraft to stay airborne at lower speeds. You can set up controls for what works the best for you. If you are liking my keyboard assignments, I will add a download link to my controls file in the video's description. You can click the load icon here and all your keys will be populated as per my controls file. Again, feel free to use what works the best for you. Also, there are joysticks available in the market from Logitech, Trustmaster and other manufacturers. They make your flight simulator experience very realistic and fun, but those are not required. If you can afford one, I would recommend getting one, but you don't have to. For shooting this takeoff, I'm using Boeing 767. When I started using this flight simulator around 15 years back, I found Boeing 767 to be one of the easiest aircrafts to control and this is what I used to learn to fly for myself. This may look boring, but it is not boring to fly. In our next video, we will be downloading add-on aircrafts with better graphics. Let's go now. We will set our flaps to 15. We will gradually push on the thrust and we will be taking off at close to 150 knots. You can use buttons from F1 all the way to F9 to change to different uh, camera angles. You can also use the scroll on your mouse to scroll in and out. Looks like we are way beyond our takeoff speed. Let's go! If you are using my keyboard controls, you can press V for velocity indicator. It helps a lot when you are trying to land if you are looking at the velocity indicator. After takeoff, do remember to retract your landing gear. I know I loved airplanes, but I did not know that I will start loving making videos. I am making these videos because I would have loved them as a child. I am sure there are many people around the world who love airplanes as much as I do and I want to reach out to them. If you know anyone who loves airplanes as much as you do or I do, please share my videos with them. Thank you very much for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. In our next video, we will be learning to maintain airspeed, altitude, make smoother turns and we will be taking things to another level. I'll show you where you can find additional aircrafts and maps and we will learn how to integrate them to this flight simulator. I hope you enjoyed watching my video as much as I enjoyed making them. If you did, a like and a share would be great and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.